Example 23. One Lily wants to buy three different flavors of ice cream for her children. For the first child, she buys ice cream which costs two ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, three ringgit for a scoop of vanilla, and four ringgit for a scoop of chocolate. For the second child, she buys ice cream which costs four ringgit, three ringgit, and one ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, respectively. Meanwhile, for the third child, the cost is one ringgit, two ringgit, and four ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, respectively. She buys X scoops of strawberry ice cream, Y scoops of vanilla ice cream, and Z scoops of chocolate ice cream for each child. Find the values of X, Y, and Z if she spends 34 ringgit on the first child, 28 ringgit on the second child, and 27 ringgit on the third child. First of all, we let X, Y, and Z represent the scoop of strawberry ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and chocolate ice cream, respectively. For the first child, she buys ice cream which costs 2 ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, 3 ringgit for a scoop of vanilla, and 4 ringgit for a scoop of chocolate, and spends 34 ringgit in total on the first child. We represent this piece of information as 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 34. For the second child, she buys ice cream which costs 4 ringgit, 3 ringgit and 1 ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, vanilla and chocolate respectively and spends 28 ringgit in total on the second child. This piece of information is represented as 4x plus 3y plus z equals to 28. For the third child, the cost is 1 ringgit, 2 ringgit and 4 ringgit for a scoop of strawberry, vanilla and chocolate respectively and the total spent on the third child is 27 ringgit. This piece of information is represented as x plus 2y plus 4z equals to 27. With that, we have our three linear equations derived from the information given in the question. We proceed to now converting these three linear equations into matrix equation of the form AX is equal to B. The elements for the first row of matrix A are the coefficients of X, Y and Z from the first linear equation. The elements for the second row of matrix A are the coefficients of x, y, and z from the second linear equation. The elements for the third row of matrix A are the coefficients of x, y, and z from the third linear equation. Therefore, A is the matrix containing the elements 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 1, 1, 2, 4. Let's now move on to matrix X. Matrix X contains the elements x, y, and z written in the order of 3 by 1. Matrix B contains the elements 34, 28, 27 obtained from the right-hand side of the linear equations and written in the order of 3 by 1. From AX equals to B, multiplying both sides by A inverse gives us X equals to A inverse B. Do take note that A inverse can be found by using the formula 1 divided by the determinant of A multiplied by the adjoint of A. The determinant of A found by expanding the cofactors of the first row gives us negative 5. Now, let's look for the adjoint matrix of A. Bear in mind that the adjoint matrix of A is the transpose of its cofactor matrix. The cofactor matrix of A obtained contains the elements 10, negative 15, 5, negative 4, 4, negative 1, negative 9, 14, negative 6. Interchanging the rows and columns of the cofactor matrix of A gives us the adjoint matrix of A, which is 10, negative 4, negative 9, negative 15, 4, 14, 5, negative 1, negative 6. Substituting the value of the determinant of A and the adjoint matrix of A obtained earlier into the formula of A inverse gives us A inverse to be negative 2, 4 over 5, 9 over 5, 
3, negative 4 over 5, negative 14 over 5, negative 1, 1 over 5, 6 over 5. Let's now find the values of x, y and z by using the formula A inverse times B. The resulting matrix obtained here is one that is of the order 3 by 1. Multiplying A inverse with B gives us the matrix containing the elements 3, 4, 4. Therefore, x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4, and z is also equal to 4.